Every breath is a prayer. Every breath is a song. Every breath we take keeps our language alive. Every breath, you are a miracle in motion. Your body is a vessel of honor. If you think about it, we are breathing the same air as our ancestors. Our breath connects the past, present, and the future. Histanois, a way of life connected to all things. Histanois. Yellowbird's purpose is to nurture the breath of life. And all of our programming is centered around that. Mano Adanos, a collective way of being, mind, body, and spirit. Mano Adanos. We're addressing historical trauma and what is historical trauma? Behaviors that are passed generation to generation. And a lot of times these behaviors are detrimental to our kids. History is important because history, if forgotten, will reproduce itself. And especially when we're talking about trauma. So what happened to create the trauma, that's really important. But what's more important is today. The Fort Robinson Run is really a rite of passage for our young people. Just to see the transformation from day one till the end in these young people. And that's the rite of passage that they're going through because it's challenging to them emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically in all areas. And that's what a rite of passage is. It's a transition in life. Run, wind whistling, run, small hail hitting, run, cold temperatures, run, muddy roads, run, must be strong, run, think of the ancestors, run, run. No more crying, let me wipe away those tears, let me see you smile. Mahakse. We are running for our ancestors. We must love each other and respect each other. Histanois, resilience, a strong heart. They connect to the resilience of their ancestors. And when they connect to that resilience... They connect to the spirit of hope for the future. The Fort Robinson Run was our original programming. And from that, we seen the need to continuously work with these young people to stay connected to them. With our project Journey to the Center, we take young people to all of the sacred sites and we share the stories of all of these sites and the importance of these stories and we connect the past to the present and how these stories are still relevant today. And so when these young people are climbing our sacred mountain Bear Butte, they take a small pebble from the bottom and those pebbles represent their family members or a family member or anyone that needs prayers. And as they're climbing, it's a prayer. They're saying prayers for these people. And then when we get to the top, they put these pebbles in the fork of the tree and release those prayers to the universe and to the spirits. And so it's a powerful journey as they're climbing up. It's a difficult journey. When you get to a certain level, it gets strenuous, you get thirsty, it's hot. And so you're going through all these transitions as you're climbing up. And those are the transitions in life that we go through. And so there's lessons in everything. And that's a powerful lesson for our young people. Histanois, a way of life. 
It's so important for our people to reconnect back to our food systems and healthy eating. And a lot of our young people, they don't even know what that is. And so as part of our Food Sovereignty Garden Program, we provide all of the supplies and we go in and help people plant gardens. We teach about our traditional food systems. We take field trips where they pick berries. We offer classes on canning and food preservation reconnecting back to some of our traditional foods. Our programmings are expanding to reach the whole family because we do really impact the family, pairing elders with young people. Our young people, they're really leaders and they're leaders of their family because we all care about our children. We teach our young people about the circular way of leadership. And the circular way is really leading from the back forward, from the ground up. Everything starts with Mother Earth. We're connected to the Earth, so everything starts from the ground and it comes forward. And so by doing, by helping the elders, by helping the younger people, they're really learning how to become a leader. Yellowbird nurtures the breath of life. It's powerful and it's beautiful and we need all of your help to continue that, to continue to breathe life into all of the young people that we work with, the families and our community. <laughs>